This is Madame de Pompadour. She was the chief mistress to Louis XV from 1745 to 1751. She was born in Paris in 1721 and her name was Jeanne Antoinette Poisson. She received an excellent education and when she was about 10 or 11, her mother took her to see a fortune teller. And this fortune teller said that she would one day rule the heart of a king. And henceforth, her name became known as Renette, meaning little queen. At the age of 19, she was married to a man called Charles, who was the nephew of her guardian. Her new husband fell passionately in love with her and they had two children, a boy who died in infancy and a daughter who died age nine. During this time, Raynette visited all of the amazing parties, soirees and intellectual salons that were being held at the time and she herself hosted many in Paris. It was during this time that Jean Antoinette's name came to the attention of Louis XV. Her name was mentioned at court as early as 1742. Her reputation preceded her for being a beauty and for being graceful and intellectual. It is said that she almost engineered her meeting with the king because he was out hunting and she basically drove her carriage right into the heart of the hunt. If this is true, it must have worked because the king apparently then sent her a gift of venison, which was a very luxurious meat back then. And then, in February of 1745, she received a formal invitation to attend a masked ball at the Palace of Versailles. She must have really thought that this was her chance. This was her chance to sparkle and glitter and attract the king's attention. She went dressed as Diana the Huntress, which is a Roman goddess of the hunt. I think this was a witty nod to remind the king that he'd first seen her in the forest during one of his hunts. Anyway, at this amazing ball at Versailles, before all of the court and all of the royal family, Louis unmasked himself before Joan Antoinette. He took his mask off and basically was declaring his love for her. And only a month later, she was the king's mistress and she was installed in Versailles at, in an apartment at, directly above the king's. She was still married, of course, but on the 7th of May, there was an official separation, which meant that she was free. However, to be actually officially presented to the royal court, she needed a title so that she was on a similar rank to everyone else. And so the king purchased for her the Marquisette um, of Pompadour, and so she became known as Madame de Pompadour. She was now an aristocrat. She was given an estate, a coat of arms, and then on the 14th of September, she was officially presented to the king in front of the whole royal court. She had made it.